Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus, and as always, it's a blessing to be with you this morning. As a follower of Jesus, how do you respond to the trials of life? Do you respond in fear, in anger? Do you find yourself throwing your hands in the air in frustration, saying, not this again? When will this stop? You see, one of the misconceptions of being a follower of Jesus Christ is that somehow all our problems, all our worries, all our trials just somehow disappear. They don't. But as you will see in the book of James, he's going to teach us how to respond to the trials of life because he gets right into it in James chapter 1, starting at verse 2. He says this, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. He said to count it all joy. The New Living Transla uh, Translation says it this way. Consider it an opportunity for great joy when going through various trials. Wait, what? You see, our first response is to look at our trial and to handle it the way that we used to handle things, the old way. But since we are a new creation, we need to look at it with a different perspective. Instead of it bringing us down and possibly away from God, we should look at it as an opportunity to draw closer to Him, knowing that the trials are not meant to break us, but to strengthen our faith so that we develop a character that responds more like Jesus and not like ourselves or our old selves. As we go through these trials and overcome, our faith not only strengthens and grows, but it gives us an opportunity to share that hope with others. You see, joy is an amazing fruit because it can coexist with other emotions. It can coexist with anger, with frustration, because it isn't a feeling, it's a, it's a choice. And when we choose joy, we're reminded of the promises of God, knowing that we're never alone, that He, ne he never leaves us nor forsakes us, that He gives us the strength that we need daily. And because of that, that's how we are preserved and endure as followers of Christ. So, what will you choose when going through the trials of life? Will you respond in fear or anger? You know, the old way, the way we used to respond. Or, or will you trust God and choose to respond with joy and let the joy of the Lord be your strength so that you can count it all joy? God bless you.